Hey everyone, I'm Black Lightning. Race is a social construct revisited. I'm revisiting the topic because I want to give an updated video on why I think it's a social construct and because I didn't realize how slow I spoke in that video. So here's a quick video on my current thoughts on this subject. So race is a social construct because race is not a scientific classification of humans and there's no agreed upon definition of race. The genetic diversity of humans is not of taxonomic significance. Yes, there is significant genetic diversity, but it hasn't yet reached the threshold for a scientific classification. It's below what taxonomists would call a subspecies. Just because race is a social construct, it does not mean race is not real, nor does it mean race purely exists socially. The social justice warriors may mean it that way, but not me. There can also be people who are not social justice warriors who say this, but hold a similar position to mine. For example, race is not real, but they mean it as a scientific classification. Just ask the person for clarification instead of making assumptions. Treat everyone you meet as an individual. Social constructs can be based on objective reality, and race is an example of this. The physical differences of humans are objectively real, and they will Will not go away by getting rid of the racial classifications. The biodiversity of humans will continue to exist whether there is a social aspect attached to it or not. We perceive this objective reality differently. People have their own definition of race, but only one definition holds up. Classifying people based on physical appearances. Trying to define race by our genotype is going to be very hard. The genetic diversity of humans exists in a continuous manner with no sharp discontinuous boundaries. Also, a human from one population can be more similar to a human from another population than a human from their own population. The genetic diversity of humans is highly fuzzy on the genetic level, but it's more feasible to classify humans based on physical appearances. Some people might bring up allele frequencies, but that's used to define human populations, not races. The way race is used, it makes sweeping generalizations about multiple human populations and that weakens its predictive power. In this source it says, a final complication arises when racial classifications are used as proxies for geographic ancestry. Although many concepts of race are correlated with geographic ancestry, the two are not interchangeable, and relying on racial classifications will reduce predictive power still further. The fact that, given enough genetic data, individuals can correctly be assigned to their populations of origin is compatible with the observation that most human genetic variation is found within populations, not between them. It is also compatible with our finding that, even when the most distinct populations are considered and hundreds of loci are used, individuals are frequently more similar to members of other populations than to members of their own population. Thus, caution should be used when using geographic or genetic ancestry to make inferences about individual phenotypes. Human populations are not necessarily racist because the concept of race involves grouping multiple human populations under one category. It's much more accurate to say people of West African descent tend to have sickle cell anemia than to say black people tend to have sickle cell anemia. Diseases usually have more to do with geographic ancestry and or lineage than race. Relying on race means you're including every human population that is considered black but referring to human populations allows you to be more precise. This is why race weakens your predictive power. Your predictive power is going to be weak or strong depending on the trait being considered. So with this being said, the concept of race is not completely uninformative, but it's definitely not an accurate representation of our genotype. Race is real, so please do not comment saying race is real. I know that, but the concept of race isn't of taxonomic significance. The day the genetic diversity is great enough to be of taxonomic significance is the day when race will change from a social construct to a scientific classification. It probably wouldn't be called race if that were to happen, but that reality isn't today. We also could see how race could be arbitrarily assigned. Many of us follow the one drop rule when it comes to mixed people. Some people say we should just make a mixed race category and I say sure, but don't expect that to be a serious category. Having a category such as mixed race is vague, is even less informative than the racial categories. You'd have to include mixed people from all over the world and it's going to be a mess of a category. It's going to contain more genetic diversity than the racial groups. 
you're better off keeping this just a social construct based on physical appearances rather than a scientific classification. When it comes to mixed people, just use your own discretion. It's much more feasible this way. Race as a scientific classification based on our genes isn't going to work as of now. If you're using it based on our physical appearances, then you have yourself a working classification in my opinion. I'm going to go way in depth on this in my next main video, which is about race realism. I might make another filler video because this next video is going to take a while to make. About the 3k special, I'm still working on it, but it's going to take a while. I should have made it to the 4k subscriber special to give me some time, but it's too late. I'll try to finish the videos as soon as possible. Anyways, thanks for watching and take care.